man, we, we have a mindset problem, man. We have a huge mindset problem. And this is slowing down. It's a huge hurdle. We're talking about this development, this integration of Africa, we made in Africa, and, and this problem is an African problem. It's, even in Rwanda, we have this problem. So this is not just a, specifically to any region or any country. This is an African problem, man. And I can tell you, it's crazy. It's crazy because to validate yourself, to validate your company, to validate your solution, you have to work 100 times harder as an African than a, a foreign entity. And I talk about foreign entity. It doesn't have to be just Western, Chinese, and all those things. Number one, they have different channels. Number two, they come with much bigger, deeper pockets, I would say, than a local entity. But we just don't get it. I don't, I don't understand what the problem is. And I face the same issue. It's crazy. We have foreign investors. And sometimes we have to bring them in in a conversation for people to take us seriously. Can you imagine? Like, like picture this, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. It blows my mind. You, I, I'll just take a random example. I don't want to do specific because, uh, you know, we 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 still talking to some of those organizations. But but you go and talk to a government to present your solution, and they're gonna ask you crazy question like, you know, uh, you have to prove your you have experience in this in this space. You have to, before you even have a pilot, before you, and those are actual statements that I've received in the past. You know, how can you prove you have ex expertise in, in this field? Well, if you let me prove it and do a pilot, I'll be able to prove it to you that our solution and our, our team has the expertise. No, you have to prove so much. You have to do so much, write documents that give you the runaround most of the time. But if you're a foreign entity, and, 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 and a lot of time, I bring some of our foreign investors on a call and the talk change. I'll give you another crazy scenario that happened. You know, I make a call, I'm trying to set up a meeting, right? That, that happened to me at least three, four times. And, and I talk, oh, my name is uh, Henry, I'd like to set up a, a meeting. And you can tell on the phone, you know, they're eager to meet there. Oh, yes, please, come, come, let's meet. And I get to the office and they look at me. And their whole mindset changed. Uh, and they ask me a quick question. How big is your company? Oh, we a small startup. Boom, done deal. Why we have this complex, man? Why we have this mindset? Where does it come from? You know, and it's all over the place. It's not just one or two areas, it's all over the place. You have some people telling you you need to hire a foreigner on the front end. I've, I've heard that physically. But how are, we gonna, how are we supposed to move on? How are we supposed to grow if we don't use our own solution? And I meet solutions, local solutions, all the time. All the time that can solve huge problems. But they're just not giving the opportunity uh, to do so. And this mindset issue, it's, it's killing. After six years, man, you would think things will change. Of course, I don't expect things to change dramatically, but six years is a long time, you know. And I haven't seen that much change. It's still the same struggle, still the same problem, you know. And, I, and, and, and the leadership focus so much on, on foreign solution coming in that we, 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 we don't understand that we the, 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 the leadership is, is, is driving this, this issue. And what I mean by driving is, there should be a policy, there should be a law in Africa, you know, or any government in Africa that give a percentage, huge percentage of contract for local solution, local companies, you know, or African companies, whatever the case that is. Before you go outside, make sure there's no solution local and if there's a solution locally make sure that you give that person an opportunity regardless of you know if you don't have deep pockets find a way there's always a way when there's a will there's a way that's just how life is you know but we don't you know and and 
and, and, and big companies leverage. You cannot build an SME ecosystem, especially in a technology ecosystem, if you don't give a chance to the, to the SMEs. You know, because the Microsoft, the Googles, and all those guys, they come in, they don't understand this ecosystem, number one, better than the local, right? They don't understand the people. They don't understand the cultures. They don't understand a lot of stuff. And nine out of 10, they bring solution that is so expensive, right? I can't tell you how many times I hear people say, you know, I've, I've been in companies saying, man, oh, we ain't got no money, man. Uh, you have a great solution. Uh, yeah, it sounds cost effective, we ain't got no money. Because last solution we bought cost us a few million dollars. Can you imagine? What logic is that, man? You lost a lot of money because you bought the wrong solution because a big company sold it to you. But you can't find and squeeze a little bit more money to test this local solution to make sure if it's working or not. Now, you're going to spend another few million with a bigger solution thinking because it's a bigger company, you know, they have what you need and everything. And that's, that's ludicrous, man. And it, it's tiring. It's irritating. And nobody's telling, talking about this stuff. Nobody's saying anything. I don't see no startup talking about this thing. And I'm not saying we should sit down and complain, but we should address this issue. Because if we don't, we're not going to move forward. I don't care how great your solution is. If nobody's giving you a chance or giving you a market, you're dead in the water. You're not making any money, right? So how can we change this mindset? How, we, how can we bring this culture where we can solve most of our problems locally? And this is not about foreign and local. No, this is not this topic is all about. Because I know some people want to tweak and twist this shit around. You know, like, hey, oh, why? why? No, anybody can do business. I'm, I'm a firm believer of, of uh, competition and open market. But we shouldn't be stupid enough to, 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 to say, well, the market, is, it's open. Yet, you know, if you have money, you get first deal compared to somebody who doesn't have as deep of a pocket as this. And I want to end with this, because this is what the problem is. And we don't, we either don't get it, we don't understand it, or we don't care, you know. If you're using a foreign technology, nine out of 10, that technology don't belong to you. And nine out of 10, if you have beef with that company, or beef with the, the country where that company is from, that stuff can hurt you. They can switch up the switch up the whole thing. There's a reason why China developing their own solution, their own technology. There's a reason why the United States is always leading in innovation and technology. You know, there's a reason why Europe has policy where you have to do business with local companies. There's a reason, but in Africa, it's different. It's different. You know, it's 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 pretty much they, they, you know it's open for all. Yet, we don't protect the local uh, entities, and that has to change. So, drop your comment, man. I can't, I can't wait to hear this, this stuff, man. And if you disagree, please do. Drop the comment. Tell me what you think, man. But uh, we, we got to move forward on this one, man. This mindset and complex has to change, man.